Please select a landing zone. Heading to Mother Base. Stay back. It's too dangerous. Hey. Back up, kid. I said no. You have to stay back. Some things can't be helped. Back to your quarters. What's going on? Shabani. Mayaka Nine Kingo Ya Shabani. It's down there? Hey! The tank at the bottom is filled with chlorine disinfectant. One whiff and you'll suffocate. Don't even. How could you let it fall down there anyway? to recover the body. What kind of stunt was that? Trying to panic us?
Boss, welcome back. Amanda and I taught Cecile how to make it. She picked it up so fast. I was really surprised. I guess Parisians have cooking in the blood. Are Cecile and Amanda doing okay? I wonder why they haven't visited. <sighs> I am so tired. I will just lie here a while. Snake? She's been acting differently lately. Before, she'd respond to conversation. Just as long as it didn't conflict with her timeline. But now, nothing gets a reaction from her. What happened? No idea. Well, Miller did go and tell her that Skullface is dead. If anyone should want revenge against him, it would be her. It's not exactly like an angel of peace to cheer for someone's death, now is it? There, take a look at this too. See it? Right there. The wound is open. Yeah. It was all closed up, and then it went back to this. But well, why? The medic has no idea how it happened. He figures it must have been self-inflicted. Please landing zone Roger. Prepared. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ. Please select a mission. This is Pequot. On station at LZ.
Please select a mission. The agent that the CIA had working for them inside OKB Zero has gone missing. We've been given the job of finding and extracting him. The target learned of XOF's plans to use vocal cord parasites and had hidden himself with the CIA's Mujahideen allies. But following Skullface's death, the Soviets retook OKB Zero and all contact with the target was lost. He may have tried to go back to OKB Zero, but even Langley isn't sure what's going on. After all, they've never even learned of Skullface's plan. That's probably what they want to get out of the man once he's extracted. But we can't allow Langley to learn of the existence of the vocal cord parasites. That's why I want you to bring the target out, boss. Once we have him, we can report him dead and keep him on base. All contact with Langley is being conducted through a cutout. Our reputation should remain intact. As for the reward, it's already in the hands of the cutout. All you have to do is get the job done. Just like always. Mission accepted. Heading to Afghanistan. Deploying. and extract the missing CIA agent. The target was laying low with the friendly Mujahideen during the vocal cord parasites incident. The man headed back to OKB Zero after the Soviets recaptured it. Check the target's VI on your iDroid. Detected. The map has been updated. He's coming too. Roger that.
Extraction arrived at the yeah. base. Please select support helicopter Roger. requested. arrived at Mother Base. Mission complete and how? They're gonna tell stories about this one, boss. Boss, the target filled us in on what's been going on. Even 
betrayed the Soviets, passing information to Langley, but got scared after learning XOF used the vocal cord parasites. Then came feelings of guilt that his leaks sent comrades to their deaths, and fear that America might deploy such a weapon itself. But in reality, XOF and Langley don't have a collaborative relationship, and Skullface was not working for America. Still, I can't blame the man for being afraid. After laying low with the Mujahideen, he tried to cut his ties with the U.S. and return to the Soviet military. But along the way, someone came after him, and he was forced back into hiding. Could have been remnants of XOF looking to silence him. And you know the rest. He doesn't seem to know much about the parasites, but nevertheless, it'd be too dangerous to hand him over to Langley or the Soviets. We'll keep him here as originally planned. Emmerich's finished development on that battle gear of his. Get back to Mother Base. Battle Gear is an armored weapon developed to take on hostile bipedal weapon systems. But unlike the Soviet-funded Walker Gear, the Battle Gear still hasn't been properly field tested. I'd like to assign a combat unit to take it on dispatch missions, so that we can evaluate its capabilities and reliability. Assuming you've got no objections, give the order to dispatch the unit from your iDroid. suspicions about Emmerich. Head to the central base camp in Afghanistan and recover that AI pod. It's time we purge Diamond Dogs of that traitorous parasite once and for all. Please select a mission.
parasite that lives on the surface of the skull's bodies is what gives them their power. Similar to my children who live in my skin. I modified the parasites I isolated from the body of that old man, differentiating them with various abilities. One that can blend perfectly into its surroundings by exposing the pigments in its cells at will. Another that by harboring multiple species of metallic archaea can oxidize and reduce metal. Isolating the one that covers and transplanting it into an Welcome artificial back. medium mm -hmm. should provide the same abilities as the skulls. But they can only subsist within a human body once transplanted into the medium, they will eventually die. Another thing, the weakness of the one that covers is desiccation. Their surface moisture loss is greater than ours. The reason they give off mist is to alleviate this by releasing the salts inside them as microparticles. Water vapor condenses around them, appearing as mist. But this dries out the atmosphere until they cannot even produce mist. And once their supply of water from the host runs out, the parasites are in danger. They, along with their host, enter a form of suspended animation. However, a similar effect occurs if they come into contact with a large amount of water. Rain, for instance. The one that covers will temporarily abandon other processes in his eagerness to absorb the water. Pitiholone. Make the weather your ally. Please the landing zone. Can Roger. Be this is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ. This is Pequot! On station at LZ! This is Yellow Cake that Cypher was having the PF's transport. Before we met you, the boss recovered it from a truck crossing the savannah. Are there metallic archaea inside it? Any yes, altitude. the archaea metabolize uranium-235 to subsist. They must be stored inside yellow cake, or they cannot survive. So those biological traces we took for impurities were actually the real cargo? Of course they are deactivated, so they do not trigger a sudden enrichment. They are like baker's yeast. Yet, they do gradually enrich the uranium as they feed. Boss, we need evidence to prove our suspicions about Emmerich. Head to the central base camp in Afghanistan and recover that AI pod. It's time we purge Diamond Dogs of that traitorous parasite once and for all. This is Yellow Cake that Cypher was having the PF's transport. Before we met you, the boss recovered it from a truck crossing the savannah. Are there metallic archaea inside it? Yes, the archaea metabolize uranium-235 to subsist. They must be stored inside Yellow Cake, or they cannot survive. So those biological traces we took for impurities were actually the real cargo? Of course they are deactivated so they do not trigger a sudden enrichment. They are like baker's yeast. Yet, they do gradually enrich the uranium as they feed. I imagine you detected weapons-grade traces. Yeah, we did. And the malachite that was loaded on the truck had traces of uranium in it, too. <laughs> so that's the flower, huh? Skullface was gonna sell do-it-yourself new kits. The uranium enriching Archaea complete with the user's manual. And the ores with the uranium could be sourced by the client or provided by Cypher. Even the trace amounts buried in common ores can be enriched 
to weapons-grade uranium by the metallic Archaea. Proving that must have been the most important factor of the trials. That and the ability to successfully prevent detonation. So if the amounts of uranium in the ores are low enough, they can get past any inspection. And you only need a tiny amount of the Archaea to act as the yeast. No great challenge to smuggle that either. The first step towards saturating the world with nukes. His plan. That was not my intention. Hmm. My only goal in developing the metallic Archaea was to save the Diné. What made you think a tool for creating undetectable nuclear weapons would save your people? What made you think a tool for... a landing zone. Heading to Afghanistan.